Hi guys, welcome to today's video. As you might have seen on my TikTok page, you might have seen I posted a new video on there's going to be a new survival roleplay. And today is the first episode of it. So, as you would see, I have 855,000 in my bank. So I've got this Ford 7810 with this passenger more. And I got a Ford... 76 time with the quick front loader and the butt bucket and i got this Stanley trailer so what i'm gonna do is i've already bought a yard so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to hit up the yard with the ford and i'm gonna do a time lapse for this bit so i'll get back to ye when i am at the yard Here we are at the yard, so we're just pulling up here now. So what we'll do is we'll pull in. I'll go up to this gate now before a car comes behind me. Open this gate quickly. That's open. We'll pop in the back into the doctor. Now what we'll do is we'll go put this in the shed and I will drop off some more and then I'll go back so I have to get more machinery up at the dealer so what I'll do is go back this into the shed fold it keep that there and detach it and off we go again I will see you at the dinner. Now we are at the shop, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to park the Ford 7810 here and I'll go drive back the 7610. So go bring back this one next so we'll start her up turn the beacons on and off we go and i'm going to do a time lapse again like we've done with the rest of them and i'll see you at the yard now guys we're pulling back up to the yard here now again so i'm just going to pull in i'm going to leave the silage trailer down by the silage pit so leave that there and then i'll take off the bucket and then i'm going to ask one of the neighbors to drop me back down to the other ford so so i'm going to leave this one in the yard because um all i need is one more attachment anyways so, so. All I'll be really doing is bring it back, and if I bring this one back, I can't bring it back again. So I'm asking the neighbor twice. So we'll detach this. That's detached. Once I've taken it off, I'm showing you the bucket on it, and I'm going to just park it in this shed here. So I'll just park it there. I'll lower the bucket down, turn it off, and I'll get back to when the neighbour drops me back down to the um, shop. So now I'm at the shop, I just thought the neighbour to drop me up. So what I'll do is I'll just pop in and I'm just going to get one more attachment. What I'm getting is a wind drawer, two wind drawer, but I'll be leasing out a baler as well. So I'm just getting the small little, the old type um, crone baler. So we'll buy that. Now, so I'll we'll come out here now and I'll hop in and we'll turn the beacons on and then we'll just back up to it. So back up to here now. Attach. And I will see you back down at the yard. Now 
Now we're back at the yard, so Sim thing, yeah, I'm just pulling in with the window. This is gonna be tired because it's a lot bigger, so even though it's a trailer, it's bigger than the car, but just be careful, anyways. Never be too sure. So I'm going to put this one probably beside the side the trailer on the pit. So I'll be doing silage for a bit, probably another month. So, I'll back it up now. So, now we will detach it. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to hook back up the mower. I might, might start mowing and we might rent out a bed or because I might bail these and turn them to bed for the cows. So I'll attach this. We'll fold it up. And we'll head out to the field. Go to the field up beside the yard. So we'll do that one and we'll do we'll just do the one field. So Indicator and uh, pull out, there's just no cars coming. There's no one coming. You just keep the indicator on because we're pulling in, anyways. Gate's already open. That's lovely. Don't know what this open, just be careful. No, it's open for me. Oh, oh nice. Unfold this and I will get to doing a time lapse for this field so you can see after the time lapse Now we're almost finished, just finished up the last few rows. So, to finish these, we will go get the wind drawer and then I'll go to the shop and get the bailer. So, well, it's only one more row left after this one, so it should be done pretty soon. I'll turn this around. It's pretty handy more, I like this more. First more there, I actually really like it. I got the most before, I don't really have to get the most, so I don't know, we might have two rows. That's a very small second row. So, just finish off this last one, we'll fold it up, and I'm on with the wind drawer. This tractor is really like this more, I can tell you. So. It up and we will go back down to the yard and we'll get the wind drawer. So I'm going to meet my mic until we get back to the yard. Now we are back at the yard, so I'm I'm thinking which tractor to use for the wind roar, but I don't think the 7610 will be able to power that wind roar, so I think I might use this one as well for the um, wind roar. Pour that down. And there we go. Oh, 
turn this around, we're gonna back up towards one of the touches and we'll go to the baby touch. So, we're gonna touch and I'm going to be my mic again until we get to the field. Now we are coming back into the field, so I'm going to just want to unfold this, and then I'm going to do a time lapse of this field like I did with the mowing. So see you after the time lapse. Now we are all finished this week, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go put this back beside the size trailer on the pit and then I will head up to the shop and I will rent out a baler because I don't really want size bales, I really want like grass bales so like a one well, should I do hay? It really depends on what I want to do, if I want to do hay that was a waste of time so I might as well do grass. No, yeah, I'll do I'll rent out a bader and then I'll rent out a wrapper to make the side bales. So because then I'll have both I'll have silage in the pit and I'll have the side bales themselves. So because cows won't eat the grass bales. I don't know why they don't eat them, but it doesn't really make sense. They only eat the hay bales for some reason, so Oh, and then I will see you down at the shop. So now we are at the shop, so now I'm just going to pop in and I'm going to go rent a baler. So we'll pop in here now. And where are the balers here? So, oh, baler should we pick? Pick this, the class roto cost two fifty. We'll pick this one. So, uh, no, we don't want to buy it. We want to lease it. We could probably buy it eventually. But now, so. We'll attach this. That's attached. And I will see you back at the yard. We're almost back at the yard now. It's just we're still behind this slow teddy handler. And it's still behind him since the shop, so. Oh, we're still, we're still behind the tractor as well. Not bad. Oh, yeah. Slowly around. Now we'll turn the indicators on. So we'll turn that on and we'll pull it in. Now we'll go over here and I'll do the first bit, no time lapse, and then I'll do the rest with a time lapse. So what time lapse is it? Let's see the camera. Uh, first one's done. So oh, I'm going to do the rest in 
time lapse. So I will see you after the time lapse. So now we're just finishing up the last roll. So once we're through, oh, not the bail. I didn't think I was going to have another bail. Look at this. So back up and unload it. Put it back down again. And we will get to finishing this roll. So nearly finished now. I don't know how many bails we'll have to be counting them as we wrap them. So Hopefully be fun. Hopefully I can return this banner by today. Oh, might have a bit extra. And pull that back up. And we are all done. So turn it off, fold it back up, and I am going to go return it to the dealer and I will lease out a wrapper to wrap them. So I'm, I might actually bring it back with the 7610 because I'm going to bring back a pair of spikes to bring them back into the yard. So I'll bring it back on the 7610 so I'll come back into the yard here quickly. Oh no, actually, I'll leave it here. Just leave the bailer here for now, it should be fine. Leave there and I'll put it the yard and let the 7610 out in the bucket box. So we will leave this one here and we'll get this one. Well, what am I doing? We will take the bucket off. And I will go put the bailer on this one and release out a rack at the dealer and I'll buy pallet her uh, spikes I should say. So back up to this and off we go and I'll see you when we are at the dealer. Now we have arrived at the dealer, so now what I'll do is I'll back this into this return area here. So back this into it and I will return it. So like that in there, I'll detach it, move forwards, and I'll go over here and I'll go in here and and I want to return it now. That's all returned, so now we need to lease out our bail wrapper. Yeah. Now we'll go for black foil and we will lease it. Hop in the forward and I will hook this up. And actually, before we do that, I'll actually get the spikes on this one thing I nearly forgot. Uh, these ones. First, we'll put the spikes on. So, what I wasn't thinking of was the spikes. Lower that front loader down. Throw these on. Down. Why the really slow? And we'll back this up. Keep going. 
and attach and off we go and I will see you back down at the yard. So now we are just coming back up to the field here now. So once I have all these wrapped, what I'll do is I leave the wrapper and um, just in the entrance of the yard, and then I will start bringing in the bales, and then we'll bring the wrapper back. So I think I was thinking I could put it on the 7810, but I think the 7610 might be able to work it. So. I don't know, might be able to or it might be able to, I'm not sure yet. So I'll turn it this way. Come in this way. No. that grabs it yep that grabs so now we'll head over to the next bale now that's all folded up nicely don't hit the gate okay no one's coming no Leave it here. Turn it off. Hope you liked today's episode. Like and subscribe on this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.